Alright, so the goal of this video is to talk about layer files on ArcGIS Pro. Alright, so here I have a map that um, shows the geologic age um, for different geologic units in a portion of the eastern U.S. Um, so each color again represents a different like geologic period and you can see them there. So I already went through and created a symbology for this that I thought was appropriate. So first off, I selected a unique color for each age group, and I also rearranged the legend so that they're in stratigraphic order. So the oldest unit at the bottom, and then the youngest units up here at the top. So let's say that I wanted to use this legend again, um, and like in say another map layout, or to symbolize this data somewhere else. So you can actually save your legend, and to do that, you create what's known as a layer file. Okay, so to create a layer file, I'm just going to go to the map associated with this. Let's go find it first. Here we go. So let's. So here's the the symbology. So I'm going to right click on it and then go to sharing, and then you can do save as layer file and that will create or bring up this window for you to create a layer file. So I'm just going to dump this on my desktop for now and yeah, we'll just call it geology, so we'll just leave it there. So it's LYRX, which is a layer file. Okay, so let's hit save. And that should have exported that. Okay, so now if I, I'm going to open up another map, let me see where this actually is. Okay, so um, let me create a new map. So I'm going to do insert, new map, and this is going to add in a blank map. And then let's find that layer. So I'm just going to grab that from one of my folders here. So this is North America Geog Ge Geology, and we want this geology sub-layer. And hit OK. Okay, so that's going to load in with the default, which is just your um, single symbol. So each map unit is just assigned the same color, same stroke or outline. So what if we wanted to assign that color, the, the symbology we had before? So one option is you could go in here and completely redo it, but obviously that's time consuming. So instead, we can make use of our layer file. Okay, so to apply a layer file, we can go to Symbology, and then up here in the corner, you should you can have a, there's an Import Symbology option, and you can get it to match an existing layer, um, or you can grab a layer file. So we're gonna go to my desktop and find that layer file that we just made. So there it is, Geology Sub. We'll open that up. And notice it's got to map the fields, so we're using a field value, and since this is the same layer, it has the same name. If you were trying to apply the symbology to a different layer, the, the attributes were named differently, you'd have to switch it out. Um, but other than that, we just hit Run. And that should apply our symbology. Okay, so there we have the symbols and they're in the same order and everything, right? Again, if you if you wanted to, you can still go in here and make edits. So if we go again to um, to symbology, we can still like, you know, change the labels, change the colors, reorder stuff, group things. And if we made changes, we could just go in here and again save another layer file. So in short, if you want to share symbology, layer files are really good for that. Um, a lot of times when I make data sets for people, um, I'll create a layer file to ship with the data so that um, the user can basically visualize it the way that I thought was appropriate. Um, so anyway, they're really useful.